All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For our next deck, which is going to be Gruel Frenzy. Um, so I've been playing some Gruel Frenzy here recently and been really enjoying it. You know, with our, our main goal of our deck is to have an Experimental Frenzy out and then start playing a lot of cards off the top of our library. Uh, Wayward Sword 2 lets us play two lands a turn. So, you know, every time a land comes up, we can play it. Um, for like the first time and then with the sword tooth we can do it for the second time we got two sword tooths out we can do it for a third time and so on and so yeah so this list is is pretty different than the last list we played because this one is not my list this was a, a donation deck as you can see we've got all donation decks here today that's why i put an extra y here um and there's really only three card changes in the main so the three cards that i do not have in my deck are uh, Merfolk Branchwalker, Jade Light Ranger, and Regisaur Alpha. So it'll be kind of it'll be kind of good to see how these cards do. Of course, we know that Branchwalker and Jade Light are are uh, you know pretty strong cards as like early turn plays and everything. With Experimental Frenzy, we can clear lands off the top. Like um, you can play it, like if you play a Branchwalker and your next card's a land, you'll be drawing it. But of course, when you have Experimental Frenzy in, in your in play. You can't just like play a branch walker from your hand, right? So you still just like have to have like a branch walker show up on your library, and then you play the branch walker, and then you explore, and so on. But it does, it, you know, you can kind of play around with your your library with with these cards. So it'll be interesting to see how those try out. Um, then we have you know Red Store Alpha for some beats on the top end. The cards I have um, uh, instead of those are i have incubation druid because i love incubation druid in this kind of matchup like where it just gets you more mana you know like incubation druid can help you play the frenzies early and um you know the name of the game with this deck is getting lots and lots of mana and then i have uh, rekindling phoenix and skark and hellkite to have flyers uh go go through the air and they're my they're my late game finishers um so you know Going from Phoenix to Jade Light, that lowers the curve. Branch Walker and Druid are on the same slot. Registor Alpha and Hellkite are on the same slot. So it'll be kind of interesting to see how those cards perform, uh, you know, considering, like, the other cards. Hawkeye. A wild Hawkeye has made an appearance. Uh, shouldn't we have a Nullhide Ferox in the sideboard for discard matchups? I think we're going to be for the most part we're going to be okay against discard matchups discard matchups are usually really weak to frenzy so you know we just have to have a frenzy you know just got to play that card and should be able to be just fine against them um we do have vivian in the sideboard which i i don't have i have carnage tyrant instead of vivian um i could certainly see vivian being better vivian's not the best when you have frenzy in play because, you know, you, you tick up with Vivian and put something into your hand. But if you have a Frenzy in play, putting it into your hand isn't isn't really helping you out. So they're a little bit of a non-bow. But I think against, like, control decks, you know, like, you want one or the other in play. If you if you have one in play, the other, you know, doesn't hurt you too much. Because you just need those um, in play. Um, no, there hasn't been any Modern Horizon hype. Uh haven't heard anybody really talk about Modern Horizon. Does anybody have some some fun guesses for Modern Horizon? So there we go. Let's let's try out this Girl Frenzy deck. Let's see how we do. A little bit different from my own, but not not too much different. Well, Girl Spellbreaker is destroying an Experimental Frenzy in in the artwork, really. Is that is that what's going on there? All right, so there's the spellbreaker art artwork. Yeah, maybe. I could see that. Huh. Let's keep.
Godless Shrine. Usually means Esper Control. Uh, could be Esper Midrange, could be not playing any other lands whatsoever and just not doing that. So with our opponent not hitting a second land drop, let's go Branch Walker instead of Treasure Map because we want to start attacking and putting pressure on him. But it is Esper, and now if they take Treasure Map, um, then if they just have, you know, if they find some answers to these Branch Walkers, it could be pretty bad for me. Invigorate and Berserk with Day's Backup. <laughs> That sounds like Legacy Infect to me. Just put those all in modern. Yeah, this, this game suddenly looks really bad for us. From them not playing a second land to us being dead in no time. Wow. All right, Frenzy off the top. Frenzy, Frenzy, Frenzy. Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. Reggie hits harder than Hellkite does. Well, dang. We, we can still find a frenzy and good. have them not have. Good riddance to bad rubbish. And have them not have. Uh, um. Not have a mortify or a Teferi. Hey Zerf, it's going good over here. How's it going up north? Been playing some good games. Buddy, that's today. what I do. Bzz. Man, one mana away. Hmm. Looking out my back door. Oh. Whoa. They're that gonna go they're gonna gain through. two more life anyway with this Kaya tick up. They're gonna go to fourteen. Oh, that's something banished. Funny, that's what I do. There you go. It's been a long and aggravating day. Heart sorry to hear that, but keep up the pace. Got beer and sitting at home. So hopefully, hopefully that's better. All right, no land. We need one more land before we can kick fight with fire. Cost nine mana. We have eight. That's bad. Funny, that's what I do. Oh my gosh. I need to play the Jade Light first. 
to attack with the sword tooth. Uh, I just like click to go to combat because I just always go to combat first. <laughs> yeah, no problem, Badonk. Glad you're in here. Alright, so we got our Vivians. Um, Daredevils are good with Thought Erasure. Cindervine definitely wants Spyglass. Cindervine's... Um, yeah, they can deal some damage. We want to cut our coils and fight with fires. It's just not, you know, fight with fires is not reliable to have a target. And then Daredevil. What if I play all the Daredevils? What am I cutting if I'm playing the other Daredevils? Am I not going for Cinder Vines? Am I getting rid of two Llanowar Elves? Um... Now, Branch Walkers and Jade Lights are great. Yeah, I was lost a long time ago. That's true. Okay. Um. I'm going to play two Landwar Elves. Cause we'll, all we'll do is play our Landwar Elf on turn one, and that's all we want. We don't need to draw more Landwar Elves. Right, okay. Yeah, we'll just have our turn one land of War Elf. That's good enough. Alright, right. Hmm. We obviously have the turn one land of War Elf. It just happens 100% of the time. If you play four and you board two out, you get one on turn one 100% of the time. This is now two for two for me. Badonka in the gifted sub from Gatsby. There you go. Now you're now you're a sub. So what kind of red mana do we have in here? Not a lot. 14 red sources. Okay. We can try this. Need a third land before we can play that. So Branch Walker or Cinder Vines on turn two. Um, we go Cinder Vines. We saw last game I played Branch Walker, and then they they went turn they went Thought Erasure. Um, wait, is their whole strat just to not play their second mana? But anyway, after I th Branch Walker, they Thought Erasure away my treasure map. And that that worked out. We drew the Frenzy and got rid of the Alpha, and I, I would have rather had the Frenzy than the Alpha. If I would have played the Branch Walker, I would have hit Frenzy. And put that in the graveyard, because I wouldn't want to draw that, and then I would have drawn the Alpha the next turn. Yeah, Memorial Glory is really weird, isn't it? Esper Control of Memorial to Glory? That's very weird. All right, well, Sword Tooth doesn't do anything anyway, so. Sure, you can cast down that. Nah, my Frenzy. So they take Frenzy, I get to Daredevil, Thought Erasure them. You know, it's assuming I draw a land. this. Alright, we got him. Uh, 
Perfect sideboarding with the two land werewolves. Okay, so what deck we're just playing? Grixis Dragons. Oh, did I up the sub goal? Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah, I did. Yeah, opponent probably had some kind of sideboard cards they didn't want to show. Um, I'm a little worried about Lyra. We have like Vivian as like our only answer to Lyra currently. This hand's pretty ugly. Should I go to five? This hand's really bad. Guess so. Just a bunch of really bad hands with, with no mana. Kind of thing. So they played a second land this time. Best card we could get there, red source. Do I want to give my opponent an experimental frenzy? Alright, so one more mana we could Vivian kill the thief. Yeah, they won't play it yet. Maybe if the game gets like really late. I just like throw down this frenzy. I guess not. Looks like they have Absorb. It's the only reason to, you know, sit back and wait like that. The thing is, we are certainly outracing our opponent. <laughs> Cinder Vines? <laughs> um... Yeah, they definitely have absorb. So I'm just attacking, not letting them like counter something and gain three life. really annoying.
I guess I have to play the Cinder Vines now. So they don't really want to play too much into that, but we we're just not able to win a race, unfortunately. Got stuck on lands after mulling to five and having a one lander. Not a surprise. Um, in the graveyard, we have one, two, three, four, five, five lands in the graveyard, which is really not that many. If you think about it. Multiply, you know, no lands, no lands, no lands kind of thing. Rough. Rough game three. I I can say I don't like... We have 24 lands. Um, I can't say I don't like 24 lands. Uh, you know, I have 25 in my deck. It just 24 is, is pretty low. Um... The difference, though, is we, we do have, like, the, the Branch Walkers and the, the Jade Lights that can help you with the lands. Um, but... Nice. We have lands. I like it. Just want to get this frenzy down as soon as possible. Turn one elf. Turn two coil. Turn three frenzy. Start going from there. Looks like we don't need to coil anything on turn two. And so much for our turn three frenzy. <laughs> Gotta coil the elf so we can stay on curve. <laughs> Gotta coil that elf. Sailor means. That's something to coil. We know they don't have a counter spell up, but I guess unless they have spell pierce. I'm just getting the frenzy down immediately. Um, even though we have you know a lot more cards in hands, we we don't really need to sit back and try to empty this hand. Let's just get this frenzy in play. Go, Frenzy, go! Ah, uh, dang. That was a, a really good card for us, uh, the Sword Tooth. Well, pretty unfortunate that got countered. Okay. Okay, Ionize is back. They, they don't get to cast Ionize this turn. And 
we can just keep the branch walker on top because we get to cast it. And Frenzy is sweet. I'll keep the fight with fire on top. Um, no matter what we got here, we wouldn't be able to play it. We already played our land for turn. Um, so, like, no matter what, like, that top card's going to our hand. And Fire with Fire is a, a perfectly reasonable card to put into our hands, I think. Coil. All right, you got us. Ugh. Wayward Swordtooth's our best guard. All right, I'm keeping it on top though. I think I may just blow up this frenzy here. We'll kind of see what we have. And I'm not actually going to put the counter on treasure map? Question mark. This cry ability is pretty valuable. The only thing I'm worried about of destroying experimental, experimental frenzy is them countering the sword tooth. So basically, if if we would have hit like a couple lands in a row there, I probably I would have destroyed it and and everything. But we're we're still just going with spells, so we're good to go. Already played a land. I'll just keep, make that Jade Light a four, a four three. Yeah, we still only get to play one land a turn. We can't play anything in our hand because Frenzy says that uh, you can't play cards from your hand, so we, we can't play any of these cards in our hand. Kind of target creature spell, create a treasure. All right. So our sword tooth would have got countered. What's the deck's win con? I don't I don't understand the question. Like creatures. We're we're attacking. Oh, our opponents? Oh. The opponents deck. Oh yeah, who knows? Gotcha. Maybe just cast 10 Ionizes. All right, Frenzy, you've done good enough. Any more lands. Mm -hmm. 
All right, what you got, opponent? Ah, uh, nothing. Yes, you can. Yep, you can set a stop at upkeep and play the card before before your draw step if it's an instant. Um, you know, like you can't play like a creature during your draw step kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, you can for instance. Um, doesn't seem like we need coil or fight with fire from what we've seen. I don't know, maybe collision. Maybe they have like some flyers or something. Maybe we'll just play some coils. I guess just playing fight with fires is probably better than just playing coils. I don't think I really want cinder vines. Uh, Mulligan. Keepers. Yeah, treasure map's good. You think they'll, our opponent's going to play Kite Sail Freebooter? That's a possibility. Um, that could be a... Yeah, maybe. I really just don't know what our opponent's playing, you know? Like, they seem to have kind of a lot of commons and everything like that. I think it's more likely a treasure map gets countered here than a Jade Light. I think it's more likely they have a negate, basically. Yeah, that's gonna be the the goal to get some some fight with fire kicked wins. Counterburn deck. Go, Reggie, go. Secrets of the Golden City is an underrated card. That card's really not bad. Grixis Dragons thumbnail. Yeah, if we get a, f yeah, don't really care about discard spells whenever we have a frenzy in play. But yeah, you know, they have to try to snatch the frenzy first. All right, so Registrar Alpha can kill the Here token be monsters. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> Um, you attack you, you attack you. The fire's out. Including the, the land. Burn on. 
including the land of War Elf, we're two mana away from kicking a fight with fire. Um, if our opponent has like a wrath uh, here, uh, you know, like a star of extinction would have been their best. Um, it could have been set back quite a bit. Yeah, I think there's a viable Merfolk deck. Um, Yeah, I think, like, Merfolk has been, you know, a, a decently popular deck. Uh, especially, like, recently. Uh, turn 2 treasure map. I, yeah, I don't think they had duress main board, but I mean, we did play a decent amount of spells. I don't know. I guess they're probably just really scared of frenzy. They're you know just thinking, okay, how can I get rid of frenzy? And so that's probably why they had duress. Uh, in all right, opponent stack's pretty cool. All right, getting this upkeep stop because uh, you know we need to hit our land drops. So we'll be able to scry on upkeep. We obviously need to fight with fire this priest of the forgotten gods. But it'll be in another turn. All right, I'll take it. So we can uh, we can shock in here to be able to play the treasure map. Um, but I honestly just don't really want to don't want to take that two damage. Oh, that's a huge problem. Can you find Lava Coil or a land? I'll take the land. So kill on the priest first. So we're down to eleven. They want if they want to activate priest. We're going down to nine. Um so like we're taking three total like this this next turn, including like that that one one, which we would have taken three that turn anyway from gutter bones and, and the other thing attacking. So basically instead of the gutter bones dealing us two, those deal us two. So we are in need of lava coil immediately. Alright, that's the lava coil. And now that we got rid of the priest, they don't get to sacrifice uh, their seraph. If I play sword tooth, uh, we're at three, six, seven, eight. Sword tooth is nine. Man, we are one permanent away from turning on sword tooth. I really wanted to do sword tooth plus coil. Um. Uh, we're still like really dead, even though we're gonna coil the seraph. We're still quite dead. We're gonna die to this one one because we're one permanent off. Playing the sword tooth and sacking a bunch of things just doesn't isn't very viable. We we're one mana away from being able to play Red Sword Alpha also. There's no reason to play a sword tooth, but when you sack the things, cause this sword tooth can't attack or block. 
just doesn't it doesn't do anything. Opponent got us. Hmm. Seraph of the Scales is going to be tough. We're going to need the Lava Coils for that. Let's get these Cannonades in here. Um, I don't think I want Collision. <laughs> nice. I get those. Get that karaoke going. Um, you know, didn't see anything to Daredevil. Obviously not Cindervine. Spyglass can stop um, Priest of the Forgotten Gods from activating. Don't know if that's really worth it. I kind of don't want to play this treasure map, but I, I don't really see anything that, that I want. I guess Spyglass spy, spy for Priest even worth it? Like, I think I'd probably just you know try to kill Priest with removal. Because you know, there's a good chance they don't have Priest. And then my, my Spyglass may not really do anything. Crazy Pyro, thanks for a resub in there. You know, like I don't really want to name Sarah for the scales with Spyglass. Um, Dire Fleet can block at least. That's a good call. Let's get this Dire Fleet in here. We can block. Yeah, first strike blocker. That's fine. It's it's not a... Or I mean, it is a pirate, so it's not going to die to um, Fiery Cannonade either. Yeah, blocking's cool. All right, good hand. Good hand. Turn one elf. Turn two elf and branch walker. Turn three frenzy. I, mean, I guess we could reg register off a turn three and then turn four frenzy also. I guess we should probably just play the register alpha first. Dun, dun, dun. Bzz. Um, no, Darth Taco, I don't, I don't think I'll be doing that. I don't. All right, or maybe. Oh, I, okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that could be something to do. I, I have plans on building up the. You know, I've just been doing. You know, I've been been doing a lot, but I do have plans of building up the, um, my Discord community, um, and so that, yeah, so that's. That's something I didn't really think about, but that's a a good suggestion for something to do in the future. Yeah, crazy pyro for the nineteenth month. That is, that is crazy. Uh, we have a couple new uh, subscribers also to kicking us up from uh, going up from eight to ten. 
So they have Conclave Tribunal. They want Cinder Vines for Conclave Tribunal? Not really. The Barnzo, resell for the fourth month, and Necrolepsy. We'll go Necrolepsy getting that first time sub in with Twitch Prime. Let's get some hype for the channel for our new subs. Thanks so much, Cali Commuter. Keeping that hype going. So that is uh, kicking, getting up to 10 subscribers on the day. Um, and uh, that means it's going to be pack time after this. Yeah, welcome, y'all. All right, let's see if we can get this game three. Keep this league going. I'll take this hand. Definitely like having the coil for um, potentially dangerous stare for the scales later on. Don't necessarily really want to throw down. So if we didn't draw these lands, I would have been playing Branch Walker immediately. But since we drew the lands, I think we can try to cannonade before we Branch Walker. I think. We'll kind of see what happens here. Right, Honor Guard actually does something against us. Hmm. I don't want to coil an Honor Guard, do I? All right, we're going to cannonade and kill this priest. Lord Warbear. The problem with just playing uh, Wayward Swordtooth and an extra land that turn was that it would allow our opponents to, like, if they had, like, you know, if they had, like, a couple of creatures they wanted to sacrifice, you know, the priest, like, you know, taking out the sword tooth and stuff uh, could certainly be a problem. Could have been annoying. Now I, I really regret not playing this branch walker now. And do I really regret it? I regret it some. Um, it's annoying. I mean, I, I have to coil the seraph, but then the honor guard's going to just shut us down. I can't. Can't not coil this ser this Seraph. Yeah, it's true. Takali affects uh, affects Registrar Alpha too. Hmm. I wish these Branch Walkers were the O2. Oh gosh. This is really bad for us. Why would you why would you tap the forest when I have a, a land wear off in play? Why would you want to auto tap like that? Or have an auto a land wear off in hand? So only playing twenty four lands also makes sword tooth a lot worse. Not a lot worse. It makes it a little worse because you know we're just talking one land. But you know, playing a less Playing less lands is worse for Swordtooth as well. Um, you know, when you when you don't have lands, a nexus of lands, Swordtooth is just a a real bad card. You know, it doesn't it doesn't do anything unless you have lands. So um. So Cannonade takes out my Landwehr Elf and their Priest and their Reaper, and they draw two cards.
Magistore is definitely not as good as Rekindling Phoenix or Scargon Hellkite could be. So six. Or sorry, five, six, seven, eight. So play two. Can unlock Sword Tooth. If they do sack the Seraph of the Scales, we, we have, like, the Cannonade that can, uh, you know, help clear up the tokens the next turn. Um, but, yeah, they didn't. So, now they draw three cards, um, put us down to five. I need to have need to have these blockers, I think, just in case. I guess I could have maybe just sacked the Land War Elf. Digging for lava coil, even. I mean, all they have to do is just find any creature, though, right? Yeah, just that any creature kills us. They just attack with Seraph. Put us down to one. Priest kills us. I guess I needed to cannonade. Instead of play Sword Tooth. It's a creature. Alright, two two. So or one two. We kind of just had the same thing happen with both of our losses, um, which is unfortunate with uh, with really just not being able to play the cards in our hand. Um, you know, it took way too long to play those cards and stuff too. So, um, I could have played the Branch Walker before and get that even though that would die to cannonade um yeah i mean i like this deck too i mean i i like i like uh frenzy and sword tooth uh a whole lot um reggie was okay against like the control deck as like a lot of power but i don't think i i like it too much in this deck because it just doesn't have very good reach. There's, you know, just a lot of decks. Like, it's it's good when the opponent doesn't have anything on the battlefield. But against other mid-range decks, like against Sultai, for example, Sultai could deal with Registrar Alpha very easily. Like, all they need is just, like, a, a Wild Growth Walker and, and so on. Um, so, I don't know. I I think I... I really do think I, I like this this version better. I mean... Rekindling Phoenix is just an, an amazingly good card. Like, this card is just awesome. Like, we kind of saw with, like, the Seraph of the Scales, same kind of thing. Um, this is just a card that was missing, you know, like, against Control, it's more more difficult for them to deal with. Against Midrange, it's, you know, it's just a great card. Um, Hellkite, uh, when you when you get going and you get lots of mana, Hellkite's awesome with lots of mana, you know, with the activated ability. And, and besides that, it's a big flyer. You know, like, as we saw, like, with that game, like, we couldn't deal with the flyer at all with that other build was just having branch like we just had nothing for flyers basically we just had a couple removal spells um so i like you know not only having the removal spells but these flyers also and incubation druid is is a solid card too you can get a lot of mana with it uh it helps you play your phoenix or, or frenzy early um yeah i honestly just really like the our regular version here um did have collision colossus in that that sideboard uh collision can deal with flyers but it's it's kind of awkward against seraph of the scales 
Um, we didn't get to really do anything with Vivian. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of difference between 24 and 25 lands, of course. It's, it's you know, like 1 60th of the deck. Um, but we certainly were getting stuck on lands quite a bit. That's, it's a really, really small sample, you know, and it's, it, you can't really say that um, if we had that 25th land, we would have won those games because, you know, like that's, that's kind of silly. Um, but I, I kind of am more comfortable with, with 25 lands because with Swordtooth, you really do want to play lots of lands. Um, you want to have like more lands in your hand to be able to, to be able to play with Swordtooth to uh, get them out there. Uh, with, you know, when you have, like, Fight with Fires to kick and all that kind of stuff, you do want lots of lands. Uh, we saw, like, that one of the games against Grixis. Of course, our opponent's Grixis deck was not very good, of course. Uh, but um, the the one game that we really did a whole lot was when we found lots of lands and that our Frenzy was always finding lands and um, we got to hit lots of land drops. And that's that's what this deck wants to do, wants to hit lots of land drops. Um So there we go. Gruel Frenzy. So played a little bit of a different version here. Um, which I think I like the the other version with the flyers. I think we need need the flyers to kind of go over the top. Um, Branch Walker and Jade Light weren't weren't super impressive. Um, they were okay. But that's it. All right. Uh, any any questions on the deck there? Anyone in chat? No. All the cards can be. Oh, the the full art cards. You yeah. You cannot craft the full art cards. Um, they were like usually different promo things and stuff like that. But you can craft all the other cards. Um, you can't get, you cannot get full art Galtas anymore. You could only get the f full art Galta. It was just a weekend event uh, that there was a, there was a uh, singleton weekend event that you could play, play that event that was free. And if you won five matches in it, you got a Galta. So it was, it was a, it's like a one-time thing kind of thing. Um, yeah. All right, so there we go. So that's Gruel Frenzy. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.